Hello, back again with the pigs at my little farm. And I brought Julia with me because we've had a word with Kiva, who runs my little farm. And we said, we'd love to help. He said, can we put up a shelter? It's a shelter, not for us, for the pigs. And we said, yes, of course we can, we'd love to. And apparently the pigs have been enjoying their wallow pool, but it's not as hot as it was the other day. And here are the pigs. Hello, pigs. And that is Joe, who has come to supervise. All right, Joe? Yes. And over here, let's just work out what the plan is. So we want to have a shelter because pigs can get sunburnt and they do like to have a bit of a shelter. And on this plot that we have at the moment, there isn't a lot of natural trees growing in the, in, in the middle of it. So we're going to try and put something that will be as pig resistant as possible because they are big animals and they will knock things down. So this may be a disaster, but uh, hopefully. I think they're going to try and help again too. And, and they do like to get involved. So we've got some posts down here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me move out of the way. The pig is sitting on the posts. Um, we have some netting. I'll show you that shortly. And we have one of those things that you put the posts in with. Post whacker or something? Julia, Julia's <laughs> going to demonstrate. On the head with it. What do we think? Yeah, it's probably going to go in a hell of a lot more because yep. the pigs will knock it over, won't they? Good to have somebody doing all the hard work. We doubled it over, or we halved it, and uh, you can see the shade area, which is looking good. But we've uh, begged, we've begged one more peg. Hey pig, come in the shade. Come in the shade, pig. There we are, look. Come and have a sit down. Come and have a sit down. Boink. Not you. Oh. There we are, look. Come and have a nice sit down in the shade. It's nice and shady for us. Perfect. But. For the pigs. They, as you just observed, they want to scratch. So the next job is to find something to make into a scratching post mm -hmm. so that they don't lean on these upright stakes, which are not really very secure. No, they could do with being taller and thicker. But um, it's the best we've got. It is, and they will love it. But if we put a scratching post that becomes obviously what it is. And better, And more secure, to so a big, on. thick something, mm -hmm. like a tree trunk or something, yeah. then maybe they'll just scratch on there and leave these posts alone. Yeah. Here comes the boss. <laughs> Hi Kiva. Hey, how, how you doing? doing? I'm very well, thanks. Good to see you. Thank you so much for letting us help. Hey, no, thank and, you. And uh, for... cause chaos and mayhem. Yeah, oh, the sales are going to be so much happier. So it's all of these things, when you're trying to do so many different things, it's hard to keep on top of stuff. But nice. I think it's a real good reminder that, yeah, the, the living standards for the animals needs to be a real priority. So, yeah. You inspired Brilliant. us to make some make some improvements, which is good. So we've got a trailer here on the quad bike. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. And uh, the idea is, what, what are we doing again? Finding a 
log or something or an old fence post yeah you're something. gonna make a nice scratching post yeah. yes yeah it's gonna be living the life of luxury <laughs> So hold the brake, make sure it's in park down here, hold the brake with that hand and then you can start it with the key. And then you've got, basically got reverse as the first one, neutral, low and, and high. You'll probably just need, you'll just need to know high today I think. So you just push, hold the brake to start, there's the key, and then up into high and then you Basically, simply. So we're going to have a bit of lunch and then we're going to find a scratching thing. I thought I'd catch a lift, why not? Just having a quick look at this pile of bits and bobs which might work there are some very there are some very large pieces which are quite heavy so we need the uh, quad bike for that um, as a scratching post we really need the biggest one we can get there's one here that's very big but getting it in the ground might be the issue Lunch had bacon, lovely. Don't tell the pigs. Shh. We didn't have the bacon here. We had it over at the hut. Don't tell the pigs what? That we enjoyed. Shh. Don't tell them because they're in cl close proximity. So I've dug a hole, as you can see down here. Look at that. It goes down to the center of the earth and we found some extremely long posts, but Center. we're going to, hang on a minute, Joe. We're going to put two together uh, we've actually got two of these old gateposts oh, things and children squealing. I don't know what, what squeals more, the pigs or the child, but either way, I haven't really got enough of these and they're not heavy duty enough. So I thought maybe some rope binding these two together would be quite good because it'll add an extra bit of friction for the pigs. The, I, in an ideal world, I'd get some gravel down this hole and then top it up with the, or some stones or bricks or something. I don't want a concrete. Um, and then fill it in with the clay, but we're gonna try the clay. And Joe has found a few stones, haven't you, Joe? Yes. Scratch on your post. Okay. Turn around. So Joe is gonna test the uh, results of our hard work. <laughs> it's great, it's good. <laughs> Oh, I want to go now. Yep, it works. Do you want to have a go with So let's see what the pigs make of it. Come and have a scratch. That's where they begin to un un undig it. I would say that's a success unless they dig it out like you said yeah unless unless they do that and we don't want to resort to cement but we might have to pull it out and put some rocks in there or something mm. but on the whole I need to scratch as well. there you go another job on the farm thanks so much for watching hope you've enjoyed our little expedite expedition <laughs> See, pigs coming over to scratch on my legs now <laughs> so until next time to Bye. the pippin